In this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning to make this liquid merge effect in a very simple and easy way. So I'll first click on this new composition and 1920 by 1080 resolution is fine and I'll hit OK. So now the first thing is to create a shape layer. To do that, I'll click on this ellipse tool here and create a shape something like this. Make sure you click on the fill and make sure that the solid color is selected and also ensure that the stroke is set to none. Now we have a nice shape layer created and I'll duplicate this shape layer. I'll go to edit and click on duplicate and I'll then move this towards the right. So now we'll be adding the liquid merge effect. To do that, I'll create a new adjustment layer and on the top of the adjustment layer, I'll go to effects and add an effect from blur and sharpen called fast box blur. I click on this and I'll set the blur radius to around 45. All right, you can see that the blur effect is added and then I'll go to the effect again. I'll select the adjustment layer and I'll click on effect and I'll add another effect from the color and correction called levels. All right. Now I'll change the channel from RGB to alpha and I'll set the alpha input white to around 238 and I'll set the alpha input black value to 237. All right. Now you can see that the blur effect is gone and if I click on one of the shape layers and bring it closer to one of the other shape layer, you can see that we are having this liquid merge effect and that is what we need. So you can duplicate the, you know, the shapes here by holding control D and then you can animate it with the help of keyframes and you can get the desired liquid merge effect which is the ultimate goal of this tutorial. So one quick tip that I can give you is if I want to add some background, I'll click on solid and type this background. And if I place this on the bottom, you can see that the effect is now not working properly. All you have to do is select the adjustment layers, all the three shape layers, right click, and click on pre-compose so that all of all three of them would fall into the you know the uh, pre-comp and then the effect would work properly i hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial